it's pretty simple to visualize a DDoS attack because it's simply a denial of service attack which then originates from multiple sources. And all of this is just about increasing the effectiveness of the denial of service attack. It's still part of this superclass of attack that is denial of service. It's just a very specific variant of it. When we hear about denial of service attacks in the news, it's almost always distributed. And that's simply because a DDoS attack is just so much more effective. Many target services have the ability to fight off a single attacker. It can be really hard to fight off hundreds or thousands or even tens of thousands of simultaneous attacks such as seen in a DDoS. Let's go back to the pizza shop we saw just before and see what that DDoS attack would look like. So here it is. Let's bring our pizza shop back in here again. Our pizza shop obviously has a phone, except in order to be more resilient to large volumes of traffic. So for example, it could just be a popular pizza shop. They put in multiple phones. They've now got several phone lines in the pizza shop. And this is actually fairly representative of many pizza shops today. They'll have multiple lines going in. So we have our attacker. And the attacker, of course, has their phone. And then they call into the pizza shop, same as before. Except what's different this time is it's not just the one attacker. We have multiple sources with their own phone making calls to the pizza shop. So see how the attack is now distributed? It's coming from multiple different origins. And the end result is the same. Once we bring in the customer, if all those lines are tied in, they're not going to be able to get through to the service. So the attack has now increased in scale. And even though the target has the additional resources to try and handle additional load, so they've got those multiple phone lines, with enough simultaneous attacks distributed out, in this case to different callers, the service can still be overwhelmed and legitimate customers unable to order their pizza. So that's the basic mechanics of a DDoS attack. And again, DDoS is going to feature really, really heavily in this course about DOS. Now, just before we go on and start looking at why denial of service attacks are so effective and indeed what different types of denial of service attack we have, I want to give you a really good visualization of just how prevalent this class of attack is right now.